three, two, one. On Channel 4 News tonight, 300 years on, Ferguson, Missouri speaks to the failure of the United States to establish a society in which the law and society can cope with an interracial shooting. That would you in uh, about just four minutes, you kindly stand by. And you're going to queue into Obama's stopping at seven on four. My name is Simeon Brown and I'm a reporter. In theory, a reporter is supposed to be the person who goes out and really works with his producer to go out and get stories. Now, for me, that might involve finding people to interview, that might involve thinking, how am I going to structure this story? What are the key questions that need to be asked? It also involves sourcing pictures. Do we have the picture to actually tell it? In broadcasting, what you see really does matter. Certainly some of the things that I look, that I look to for good reporting is one. Somebody who really asks the right questions and is really critical. Somebody who I believe that, you know, you, you trust them and I think they offer something quirky. And I think that in this day and age, I think personality and certainly having an interest in take really does add value in a day when, you know, in a time when you can find so much out on Twitter and maybe the reporter is not as necessary as they once were for actually finding the news. So you need somebody who can actually say, well, what does this mean? I also think that what makes a good reporter as well is somebody who is also quite lucky and therefore his nose kind of can kind of sniff out what is about to happen, has good anticipation and also has good contacts, which, which really do help. I'm Matthew Wellham, I'm a package editor for Channel 4 News. What we do during the day is um, take the raw rushes which are filmed, we take those and lay them down into a timeline for the 7 o'clock news. I originally started off as a producer. As the technology developed, um, I found I really enjoyed playing with pictures. But also I think that helps me as a, a, as a package editor because of the producing background. Um, I kind of know what the producer wants and then I can actually have more input into the development of the story. What makes a good package editor in news is primarily speed. You, know, you could have five or six hours to work on it or you could just have two hours. And obviously stories are changing all the time. So what happened in the morning uh, during the day, developments can change and by the afternoon you've done a 360 on that story and you're doing a completely different story. But you still have to have that content and get it out the door at 7 o'clock. When you're building a, a, the package, um, you'd normally have a three-man crew, or three-woman crew. Um, it's uh, the reporter, the producer and the package editor. So I'm the reporter, my name's Cordelia, and I'll be uh, writing the script, checking the legals, talking to our various contributors. This is Margaret, and she's the video editor, and she'll be making sure we've got the right picture, uh, working on the sound and different treatments. And alongside us is Matthew, and he's the producer, so he'll be commissioning graphics, uh, he'll be making sure the tapes are ingested. Is there some sort of effect that happens? If you're out on the road, you're having to organise feeding tapes or feeding footage back from satellite trucks or looking after live broadcasts. In here it's a very different role. You're just making sure that all the information in that piece is accurate and also making sure that you don't make any legal mistakes. Um, and that's kind of a process that you've got to do jointly with the reporter. On Channel 4 News tonight, 300 years on, Ferguson, Missouri speaks to the failure of the United States to establish a society. I'm John Snow and I'm the presenter of Channel 4 News. I wake up at about 6 o'clock in the morning and I turn on the radio. And I'll absorb roughly what's going on in the day. And at 9.30 we have a meeting and we kind of shoot the breeze around what's actually happening. What happened during the night, what's expected to happen today, what scoops we've got this, that and the other, and we'll sort of, we'll know roughly what we're doing, we'll go away and we'll start preparing. That would be easier to understand if it weren't for the fact that many people looking in on America see the way that President Obama has been treated. But to make a good presenter, I think you have to relax, and you've got to try and remember that there's nobody out there watching at all except one person, and that's the one person you're talking to. It could have been reasonably light, you know. I mean, of course, some very heavy things, but I mean, life isn't entirely heavy, so you've got to have a bit of a twinkle as well. It's fantastically flexible. I mean, I travel quite a bit, you know. I've been to Gaza, Iran, various other places this year. And to go somewhere and tell people about something they're looking at is 
something exceptional. First attacker blew herself up near the market of a city in the northeast of Nigeria. I think the most challenging thing actually is to understand your own views, to understand your own opinions, to work out you know, who you are and how you approach what's going on in life, and then to accept that that must be kind of tamed a little bit in order to uh, produce some sort of balance. But at the same time, you shouldn't lose your um, passion. The unrest followed a grand jury's decision not to bring Tiny charges against next. Officer Darren Wilson. Deep on, deep on deep on My name's Martin Collis. I'm the Senior Programme Director at Channel 4 News. Well, one of the most important parts of my job is to make sure that what goes out and what you see at home uh, is a seamless, uh, continuous programme. The less obvious bit, and, and probably, the, probably just as important, is, is to make sure it looks good, um, to make sure that we surprise the viewer. Before becoming a programme director at ITN, I was uh, a vision mixer, and you get to sit next to some very, very good directors, so you kind of learn by, by watching them and, uh, and, and, and figuring out how they're doing it. Half an hour on One of the sort of signatures of Channel 4 News is the way the studio looks and the way we constantly move the cameras. As a director, I have a, very, a lot of creative freedom in how we shoot it uh, and the kind of silly things that we do sometimes. Uh, so it's very, very rewarding. Uh, During the programme, I'm, I'm here in the gallery uh, and I, I can see every picture source that might be part of the programme. Uh, and I can talk to anybody who's contributing to the programme and most importantly I can speak to the presenters so I can direct the presenters uh, and let them know what they're doing, what they're doing next, uh, which camera to look at. Uh, there's a vision mixer who sits next to me um, and they uh, switch between the sources, they, they composite things together and put them on air for us. On the other side of me is the PA. The PA makes sure that we go on air on time, uh, that we come off air on time uh, that all every single element inside of VT, uh, like name supers, there are timings for that. So the PA is looking after every element of timing in the program. Uh, and then on the other side of the glass door is the sound mixer, who, uh, pretty much like the vision mixer, um, selects uh, the the sound that you're going to hear within the program. So I'm I'm speaking to all those people and directing them throughout the program. Hey, My name's Simon Daniels. I'm a freelance sound mixer for ITN. Uh, I work across uh, all the different programmes, so for ITV and Channel 4. Our primary role is to balance the sound for a programme. So in any programme you'll have um, a presenter, you'll have guests in the studio, so you'll have their microphones. And we have outside sources, so where we've got a correspondent, say in Washington or in a, in a foreign country, or someone on the phone. And our role is to mix all those different sound sources together and balance the sound so that at home the listeners gets a consistent level. We don't want suddenly one bit very loud and another bit very, very quiet. Um, and My name's John Broom, I'm Vision Mixer for Channel 4 News. A Vision Mixer um, controls this big set of um, buttons here. We control all the cameras, we control all the graphic sources, all the VTs, and we have um, various OS's that come into the gallery for in live interviews that we do during the show. Okay, stand by, stand by. I have a screen here, which is um, my graphics machine. I can put an actual name super up. I also have control of the wall, which we put various images in during the show. So that will appear behind John, and then he'll read into a, an interview, which I believe he did uh, at some point. You are growing up in the golden age of journalism. I mean, you just think we didn't have Google. We had no really quick way of finding out information. So everything is moving very, very fast, but I think it's moving in a great direction in which um, I think people will have more opportunity than ever to be good journalists. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening.